Doobie, it's your first time seeing the players only bump. <laughs> it's my first time. Hey, we got to get you so shooting good. one. We, we, we got to get you on, too, because you're a big one in, you know, giving players bumps. And, I got to uh, get the matching suits, though. That was good. That was good. Yeah. That was good. But, hey, uh, players only bump. I don't, How know supposed to bump this? I don't know if you How can, are we supposed to bump this? You bump. You got two goals in your first NHL game. Josh Doan coming in here. We love this story, buddy. This was one of the best things I've seen in quite some time. So congratulations. Can you take us through the emotions of last night? Yeah, it was it was quite the night. Obviously, a, a lot of friends and family in town uh, being in Arizona and, and being from here. So that was uh, a unique experience. But to, to cap it all off and, and fortunately get to was, was something that was uh, special. I mean, it's it was that's I was so pumped like watching this last night. Yeah, and I mean the reaction of your family and uh, you know I I was fortunate to play with your dad, but just just everything the reaction of the fans. Look at look at the smile on your dad's face and um, you know when when did you get when did you get the call when did you get when did you know this, this it was it was go time for this game. Yeah, I was uh, in San Jose. We just played the Barracuda in Tucson, so. We, we went out for dinner after the game and, and I got a text that, that they're going to give me a call and, and then they called me and, and ever since then it's been been kind of a whirlwind. I, I called my parents and my aunt and uncle were in town. They were supposed to leave on uh, yesterday and they got extended to, to stay a couple of days to watch me play. So it was it was an awesome experience and, and thankfully everyone was in town. All right, so yeah, uh, so uh, what was the deal? You had a deal in place that he was going to take his shirt off when you scored your first goal or, or, or first game or what was it? Yeah, he. I mean, he says he was going to. I, I. I never asked him to do it, but he. He teases me all the time that he was going to do it. When when we were in Abbotsford this year, he said he was going to do it, and my aunt uh, reined him in a little bit. But uh, last night was a special moment, so he had the the full green light to to do it. It looks and, like uh, it looks like your dad up. loved it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It made him look small, which is nice. That's, I was just going to say, <laughs> who in the world makes Shane Doan look that I small? I know. I mean, your uncle's got to be massive because your dad is a big human being as well. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a big man. <laughs> you ever get to uh, – I, so I remember playing with your dad, and uh, he, he's, you know, one of the best teammates ever, but he was a, he, a bit of a goof, and he liked wrestling the boys, and I always stay, steered – well clear of wrestling Shane Doan because he is a big human. Do you ever get to wrestling with him growing up and uh, probably didn't win too many, I would imagine? No, I, I didn't win too many, but but I'd, I'd jump him from behind and, and try and get him on <laughs> hey. attacks. If you get him by surprise, you have a chance for about 10 seconds before you're you're on the ground and, and he's squishing you. So it's, it, I mean, it, it worked. It it helped kind of kind of build a little bit of strength every once in a while, which is was always fun. Hey, using your brain. Hey, sometimes you gotta you gotta jump the bigger guys. We know that in hockey, right? We, we had a we had a team outing before the season, and I watched three grown men jump him from behind, and he <laughs> yeah. and he still ended up on the right side of it after, like you said, about 10, 15 seconds, and Donor had all three of them on the ground. Hey, I want to I want to ask you. Uh, we got this picture here, and this is I think maybe you can tell me exactly. It, this is Junior Coyotes. Is this U15 or U16? That's you next to your dad. To the right of him, the, the smallest guy in this picture, the smallest kid yeah. in this picture. I find this amazing because where you're at now, the trajectory of your career, you know, being a late bloomer. Like I love this. Can you talk about like you were you were grew up as one of the smaller guys, right? Yeah, it was uh, ever since I was a kid. I was I was always a little bit under underdeveloped and undersized and. I was, I think my U16 year, I was 5'4", 118 pounds when the Chicago Steel drafted me. And it was, it was a little bit of a step to, to go into the USHL. And, and then, uh, I mean, there are times where, where hockey wasn't the, the funnest because I just get kind of bullied out there because everyone else was, was so much bigger. And uh, as the game got on, I, I was fortunate enough to kind of learn how to play the game a different way. And, and my body eventually caught up. So it, it ended up paying off dividends. But at the time, it wasn't the most fun. <laughs> and what about uh, in that picture too? Matthew Nyes is in that picture. You guys are pretty tight. You guys have been boys for a long time. Yeah, yeah, he's in there too. He's another one of the smaller guys too. Uh, he might have might have grown by then, but he was the guy where we were the two smallest guys in our team when we were fourteen, and and since we were seven years old, we've been pretty close. And and part of the reason that that I'm here today is because I had him to kind of push me, and it's we have a relationship that that I uh, can't thank him enough for. Yeah, well, I'm I'm just trying to think here. I'm trying to do the math. We would have crossed paths for sure at some point. 
uh, in Arizona when I was there, but that was 10 years ago, so you would have been just a little kid. I don't know if you remember, but making me feel old right now for sure. Uh, what, it, what does it feel like to, to get to, I mean, I don't think a lot of people get to do this, get to do what you have got to do and then also doing it as well as you have, but getting to, to grow up in Arizona, this is not a hockey place at all. Uh, your dad's a legend there. You get to grow up in Arizona. You get to play through ASU and now with the Coyotes and two goals in your debut. Like, what? what is is this, is this a dream for you? Like, is it surreal? Because, I mean, even, even talking about it doesn't seem to – you can't write this stuff. Yeah, it took a while for it to kind of to kick in last night. Obviously, it's a surreal experience and – and something that not a lot of people get a chance to do with with going from ASU to Tucson to to the Coyotes, but it it started way back when I was five years old playing for the Junior Coyotes, and the, my dream was to to play in the NHL, but to play for the Coyotes because that was my team and that's where I was from. So I I was always a big fan of theirs, and uh, the whole day yesterday was was a surreal kind of experience, and and it, it went by quicker than than I thought it would because I was so nervous before the game, it felt like it was never going to end, and. And by the time uh, I'd kind of blinked, it was it was passing by. And it's one of those things that I'll never forget, and, and I'm happy I had all my friends and family there for it. Hey, Josh, uh, so just something that popped in my head, because watching that game, uh, when I was – my first NHL game, I deflected a puck up high, and it went in, right? The goal, we go by the bench, bop, bop, bop. They review it, high sticking, and they took the goal away. And I'm like – I remember the feeling I had, like, oh, man, I – it was just like that would have been icing on the cake. Like, wow, but hey, that would have been really cool to score my first NHL game. You had a breakaway prior to that yeah. first goal. Like, in that moment, were you like, oh, man, that was such an opportunity? Yeah, I, I think I, I picked the puck up, and when I when I knew I was in on the breakaway, I got pretty excited. And then I missed, and I was like, oh, boy, like, this is going to haunt me. Yeah, it was, it was a good attempt, at least, but. Uh, and then the video, you can see my dad, he's walking away because he he knew how upset I would be. And then by the time he turned around, we, we were fortunate enough to get the puck back and score. So it was it was kind of a whirlwind of emotions in, in 25 seconds. And and thankfully, thankfully, I ended up batting one in or I would have been pretty frustrated. Yeah, that's awesome. So talk to us. We've heard about this nickname. We got it a little wrong at the start. We heard it was premium, but now we got it more right, which sounds a lot more right. The nickname Diesel. What a nickname. Where does <laughs> yeah. that come from? Yeah, we had uh, our commentator in Chicago with the Steel. He had, he had nicknames for all of us. So Matt Coronado's the Bison and Brendan Brisson's the Jaguar and uh, Adam Fantilli's the Lion Cub, which he became the Lion a- after his first year. And <laughs> I was I got Diesel for I don't know what the the, the real story behind it is, but. You guys kind of got it right because it went from diesel to, to premium diesel from first year to second year. He kind of hey. just upgrade our nicknames as we go along. So it, it's something that we all have fun with. And, and all of us text each other still using those nicknames today. And it's, it's pretty funny. Hey, you said it. 118 pounds of premium diesel coming <laughs> at you. <Yeah. laughs> I never even heard of premium diesel. So that's a new yeah. thing for me. That's that's extra special. Hey, so so is that something I know you had on that team? But I'm just thinking like, you know, we of all, you know, when I play with your dad, too, it's like it's donor. Where you are? You, is your nickname donor? Or the guys over the years called you something else or where, where's your nickname game at? Yeah, it's it's kind of been donor no matter where I've been. I, it's the easiest hockey nickname to really give. Just add the ER to the end of it, and it's kind of stuck everywhere I've gone. It, it's it's been weird when when we're in the same room because we both kind of turn now, which is which is always funny. But I, I I mean I'm happy with it. It's it's something that I've been called since I was a little kid, so it it kind of works. Hey, uh, one thing to my mind is uh, um, very weird at times, and I came across this video. Uh, you, you got another talent, too, and I kind of want to know where this is from. Uh, I, we, I watched a video of uh, you're giving a tutorial on how to fold a fitted sheet. Uh, that's incredible. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of nuts. Not too many people know Hang how to do on, this. I send don't. me this link. That, yes. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know how to do it either. They were giving me step-by-step step behind the scenes, so it was uh, – that's like on. the – the fifth take but it, it was pretty where well, they had us doing a whole bunch of stuff like that and 
I mean, I don't know if it was the best fitted sheet, but at least it got the job done. Oh, my goodness. It's kind well, of a game can, changer. Hey, listen, I can tell you real quick that when I fold a fitted sheet, it does not look no. like that. <laughs> just ask my wife. I do this. It does not look like that. I just push it in the ball and put it in the <laughs> yeah. back. That's what I'm doing. But, uh, no, I love that stuff. But, hey, we got to get to this fun part. All right, it's called What Were You Thinking? We're going to just show you some pictures, videos, and we want to know what was going through your head, what you're thinking in these moments. So we'll throw up the first one here. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that was a cool experience. One of the first kind of hockey memories I have with, with my dad and, and getting to meet all the guys that, at that All-Star game. I think that was in 2009. So that was that was unbelievable. And and one of those things that me and my siblings look back at and, and we're happy that we were able to be a part of that. And shockingly, he won the shootout competition that year, <laughs> which, is, which is crazy. I'm sure Duber knows he's not the greatest in, in shootouts. So that was a, a shock to us all. Hey, listen, you got to ask your dad. I played in a game that we won a shootout. It was against Anaheim in, in uh, Glendale, and he, he went to take a shot, and his stick exploded. <laughs> yeah. It exploded, yeah. and the puck still, like, trickled through and went in the net and won us the shootout. So <laughs> you, you yeah. never know. Yeah. Uh, we got another one here. You're not in this photo, but pretty, pretty memorable yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the the better memories too. I, I wasn't there, obviously, as with my mom though, and and getting to share that moment with her after after seeing that photo was was something I'll never forget. And it, it was perfect to be with my mom because of because all the sacrifice that she put in, and obviously she was the one taking me to all my games and tournaments when Dad was busy. So I think that's that's a cool photo with hey. everybody. Backstory is awesome too with that. The um. The other thing, I mean, I don't know, were you there? This is before your growth spurt. You could have been behind the jersey. We, yeah, yeah. We hiding there? No, you're with, you're with your mom. Hey, real quick, before we move on to the next one, talk about your mom, too, because uh, your dad's going to, you know, your dad is, uh, uh, you know, great NHL player, but uh, you mentioned the sacrifice, your mom, your family. It's a village, you know, and uh, can you talk about yeah. her real quick? Yeah, I mean, uh, dad was gone while obviously playing, and, and she kind of took care of everything back at home with, with me and my three siblings. So there, there was always something going on and, and she sacrificed a lot of her time to, to make sure that I was, I was getting to hockey and my siblings were getting to whatever they needed. And, and she was basically my first coach. We all say, cause, cause uh, I didn't have uh post game drives home with dad. I had him with mom and, and she was always pretty positive except for the, the one or two. And, it's always unique having that experience with her because she thinks she understands the game now because she's watched it for for 25 plus years and and she's gotten pretty smart at it so it's fun talking with her about the game but uh i i can't thank her enough for, for everything she did to help get me here all right let's uh check out this one pretty recent what are you thinking here yeah don't fall i think that was the only <laughs> thing i could really think of was was don't wipe out my my buddies in tucson were giving it to me about not not falling when I take the ice and and all the guys there were, were giving me a good time but it, it was it was a surreal experience and it went on for for much longer than I wanted it to they kind of let it <laughs> let it drag out for a couple laps and and I started laughing when when they all came out but that's another moment I'll never forget in, in a long night all right we got uh, another one awesome. here I think this is just uh... I was fortunate enough as a goal I didn't have to do a rookie laugh because they don't want to mess with you yeah. yeah so, so I, goalies never have to do rookie laps. No, That's I mean, I don't know. I, don't I think know. maybe sometimes. Maybe I should have done a rookie lap because I gave up seven on twenty-five. So <laughs> probably should have gone out there for a little rookie lap myself, and maybe I, I would have had success like Donor had. <laughs> the, here's the what's that? The Sally after the first goal? Oh yeah, yeah. I think that was just a relief because I just missed the breakaway, and obviously there's a lot of a weight off the shoulders when you get your first, and and seeing the excitement from some of the guys was, was cool, but. Uh, I think I kind of went into shock a little bit at first that, that I had just scored and, and that I got another chance quickly. That's we got, awesome. We got one more for you here. Uh, post game here with the family. What are you thinking here? Yeah, that's that's probably the most special moment of the night was was getting to see all of them after and and my my brother and sisters being in there. They've they've kind of been there the, the whole way and. And my brother was, I was happy to see him because I didn't know if he was going to make it through the night because he was jumping up and down in the suite the whole night with my uncle. And I thought he was coming down at one moment. So it was, it was good <laughs> to see all of them. And it's, that's the, the, the cap to the night and, and getting to hug them all and, and kind of 
know that it was that it was done and, and that I had played my first game. And listen, enjoy every part of it. We've certainly enjoyed watching it. What a, what an amazing story and knowing knowing your dad, having played with your dad, one of the best teammates we've oh, ever had. Absolutely. Getting to watch you grow up and get this opportunity and absolutely execute in your first game. It's an amazing story. Uh, enjoy it. It goes by fast, but looking forward to many more goals to come for you. Yeah, thank you guys, and thanks for thanks for having me on. Well, I will be watching, man. Fun to watch last night, and uh, best of luck continuing forward. So thanks for thank coming you. on, man. Thanks, Donald. Yeah, thank you.